Hello students you are warmly welcome to my youtube channel education wmh in this video i am going to discuss a grade 8 mathematics second term test paper i invite you to subscribe my channel and stay with us question number 1 write the next two terms of the number pattern 10 14 18 22 26 what is the difference between each two consecutive terms here 10 plus 4 is 14 14 plus 4 18 so the difference is 2 so uh, to find the next two terms we have to add 4 to the last term 26 plus 4 is 30 then 30 plus 4 is 34 these are the answers question number 2 Based on uh, the information given in the figure, find the value of x. Uh, the sum of the two angles is marked as ninety degrees. So we can write x plus sixty five, sixty seven equal to ninety. Then x is equal to ninety minus sixty seven. Mm, that is twenty three. Twenty three degrees is the answer. Then third question. Simplify. We are given this to simplify. Uh, minus seven point five. Minus minus eleven. We have to convert this subtraction into addition. Then we have to take the additive inverse of the second directed number. That is plus eleven. So what is the difference between uh, these two uh, directed numbers? Eleven minus seven point five. That is three point five. Then the uh, answer should be uh, should contain positive sign. Uh, sign with the largest magnitude. Then plus three point five is the answer. Question number four. Find the perimeter of the given figure. When finding the perimeter, we have to add the surrounding lengths of the figure. Six point five. There are two six point five. So six point five multiplied by two is thirteen plus. Then uh, how many fours are there? One, two, three. Four times three is twelve plus. Then one twelve again. The length side of the rectangle. Then the answer is twelve plus twelve is twenty four. Twenty four plus thirteen, thirty seven centimeters is the answer. Thirty seven centimeters. Then uh, question number five. We are given to simplify this. Ten y plus Three minus two y plus six. First, we have to remove the bracket here. Ten y plus three. Then, uh, when we are removing the bracket, uh, the sign of two uh, y becomes negative. Minus two y. Then here also minus six. Then we can uh, simplify ten y and minus two y. That is eight y. Then plus three minus six is minus three. So this is the final answer. Question number six. Write down the number of edges and vertices of a dodecahedron. How many edges are there? There are thirty edges. So number of edges is thirty. Then number of vertices that is twenty. Vertices is twenty. Then question number seven. A person who is uh, self-employed has saved uh, one over twelfth of his uh, monthly income. Has saved uh, one over twelfth of his monthly income. If his monthly income is uh, fifteen thousand four hundred eighty, what is the amount he uh, amount saved by him? So we can calculate it like this. If uh, the uh, His monthly income is fifteen thousand four hundred eighty. Multiply it by one over twelve. 
12 times 1, then 12 times uh, 1 is 12, uh, then for 34, 12 times uh, 2 is uh, 24, then uh, 10 is remaining, so uh, 108, 12 times 9, then here 0, then the amount is 1290, then question number 8, Write down the reciprocal of 1, 7 over 8. Before finding the reciprocal, we have to convert this mixed number into an improper fraction. 9 times 1 is 9, 9 plus 7, 16. So 16 over 9. Then what is the reciprocal? We have to change the numerator and the denominator. 9 over 16. Question number 9. Write the uh, order of the rotational symmetry of a parallel graph. In a parallelogram, the order of rotational symmetry is 2. Question number 10. Based on the information given in the figure, find the value of x and y. y is equal to 45 degrees. Uh, as uh, they are vertically opposite angles. So we can find the value of x uh, by taking the interior, sum of the interior angles of a triangle. Uh, x plus y plus 70 is 180 degrees. So uh, x is equal to 180 minus uh, 70 plus 45. Uh, that is 115. Uh, so the subtraction here is uh, 55. 55 degrees is the answer. Question number 11. Fill in the blanks with a suitable symbol from uh, greater than and or less than. 2.5 tons. Question A part. 2.5 tons. Uh, then other side 2250 kilograms. If you convert 2.5 uh, 5, 2 tons to kilograms, 2,500 tons. That is greater than the other one. So, you have to use this sign. B, 0 0.6 tons, the other side 750 kilograms. 0 0.6 tons is equal, equal to uh, 600 kilograms. So, the other one is 750 is larger than this one, this sign. Then, uh, question number 12. Express 4 uh, multiplied by uh, AB to the power 2 as a product of powers. So, how to write it as a product of powers? Um, 4 can be written as 2 to the power 2. Then, uh, here uh, you can uh, take the power to each uh, algebraic term here a to the power 2, then b to the power 2. This is the way you are writing that. Question number 13. The ratio of boys to girls in a primary school is 20 to 19. If there are 300 boys in that school, find the total number of students in the school. The ratio is given as 20 to 19. So, there are 300 boys. So, uh, to get 300 from uh, 20, we have to uh, multiply it by 50. So, then uh, 19 also should be multiplied by 15 here. Then what is the answer? If you multiply 19 by 15, we will multiply it separately. Uh, 5 times 9 is 45, so 4 is remaining, 5 times uh, 1, 5, 5 plus 4 is 9, then uh, write 19 here, 225, there are 200, 285 girls in that school, according to the ratio, then question number 14, We are given this to solve a simple equation x over 5 
minus 3 equal to 4. So what do you have to do? The first step here is we have to add 3 to both sides. So uh, we get x over 5 minus 3 plus 3 is equal to 4 plus 3. Here minus 3 and plus 3 can be cancelled. Then x over 5 is equal to 7. Then uh, both sides should be multiplied by 5 now. Then x equal to 7 multiplied by 5, 35. Then uh, question number 14, 15. 15 we are given. A student obtained 18 marks out of 20 marks for a term test paper. Express the marks obtained by the student as a percentage of the total marks. We can write it as a fraction 18 over 20. Then uh, to convert it into percentage, we have to multiply it by 100 percent. 20 times 1, 20 times 5. Then 18 multiplied by 5, what is the answer? 5 times 8, uh, 40, then uh, 0. 4 is remaining, 5 times 1, 5, 5 plus 4 is 9. 90 percent is the answer. Question number 16. The surface area of a cube is 54 square centimeters. If side length of the cube is x, find the value of x. Um, the surface area. So, uh, as, as the surface area is given as 54 uh, square centimeters, we can write, uh, if you take uh, area of one side that is x squared, then x squared multiplied by 6 is equal to 54. As all the faces in uh, in a cube are equal uh, in shape and size. So, uh, x squared equal to 54 divided by 6 is 9. Then x equal to the square root of 9. That is 3. 3 centimeters is the answer. Then question number 17. Uh, if the given sets are null sets, place a key. Uh, place right mark or else place a cross mark. Uh, a perfect square and uh, perfect square numbers which have digits 8 in the units place. Uh, so is it a null set? Perfect square number can't have the digit 8. Question number 17. If the given sets are null sets, place a tick mark or else place a cross. A. Perfect square numbers which have digits in digit 8 in the units place. Any perfect square uh, don't have the digit 8 as the last digit. So, A is a null set. Then B. Even prime numbers. There is one even prime number that is 2. So this is not an answer. There are elements. Then question number 18. Find the factors. We are given this expression. 4 x squared y plus 6 x y cubed plus y squared. Sorry. Uh, then uh, minus Minus 8xy. What are the common factors that we can take out here? 2 is common. Then x is also common. Y is also common. Then uh, if you divide this uh, expression by this uh, 2x5, you get 2x here inside brackets. Then uh, divide this by 2xy. Then uh, you get 3y minus then 4. Question number 19. Find the sum of all the interior angles of the triangles in the given figure. Um, sum of all interior angles of the triangles. Uh, 
uh, I can uh, do it like this. The quadrilateral will be separated into uh, four triangles like this. So, uh, if you take these angles, they are the sum of the interior angles of the quadrilateral. More than this, we have these four angles. They are located around the point. Around, they are located around the point. Uh, so we know that the sum of the angles around the point is three, uh, 360 degrees. The interior angles of a tri uh, quadrilateral are also equal to 360. So we can take the sum 360 plus 360. That is 720. That is the sum of the interior angles of the triangles. Then uh, question number 20. I'll do it here. Bangkok uh, in Thailand is located in the plus 7 time zone. When the time in Bangkok is 17 hours 30 minutes, uh, find the time in Sri Lanka located in plus 5 and half time zone. The time difference between uh, Thailand and Sri Lanka is uh, Sri Lanka is uh, uh, one and a half hours less than the time in Bangkok. So uh, we can uh, subtract uh, 1 hour 30 minutes from 13 hours th 13 hours 17 hours 30 minutes we can subtract 1 hour 30 minutes from this here 0 then here we get 16 hours 